How can you use division to find equivalent fractions? Let's find out. In early May, Fairbanks, Alaska has daylight for 18/24 of the day. What are some fractions equivalent to 18/24? Fairbanks has daylight 18 hours a day in May. Why is this 18/24 of a day? There are 24 hours in a day, and 18 out of 24 hours is 18/24. You need to find some fractions equivalent to 18/24. What does the model represent? It represents a 24-hour day. The blue part of the model represents the hours of daylight. What does the gray part represent? The gray part of the model represents the nighttime hours. The blue and gray parts combined represent all of the hours in a day. A common factor is a factor two or more numbers have in common. To find equivalent fractions, divide the numerator and the denominator by a common factor greater than one. Two common factors of 18 and 24 are 2 and 3. Divide the numerator and denominator by 2. If the day is split into two-hour sections, what fraction of the day is daylight? 18/24 divided by 2 halves equals 9 twelfths. Nine of the 12 two-hour sections represent daylight. 18/24 of a day is equal to 9/12 of a day. Divide the numerator and denominator by 3. If the day is split into 3-hour sections, what fraction of the day is daylight? 18/24 divided by 3/3 equals 6/8. 6 of the 8 3-hour sections represent daylight. 18/24 of a day is equal to 6/8 of a day. 18/24, 9/12, and 6/8 are equivalent fractions. Could you divide the numerator and denominator of 18/24 by 4 to find an equivalent fraction? Why or why not? No, 4 is not a factor of 18. So it is not a common factor of 18 and 24. Can you divide the numerator and denominator by two different numbers? No, dividing by one, like multiplying by one, does not change the value of a number. So you must divide the numerator and denominator by the same whole number. So you are dividing by one. What is another common factor of 18 and 24? Six is another common factor of 18 and 24. You could divide the numerator and denominator by six to find another equivalent fraction. Now you know how to use division to find equivalent fractions.